Arms Trade Tanks Tycoon, oh yeah! Britain deploys our new tanks to murder the Belgians. France and Germany murder each other. The Ottomans invade the Greeks. An opportunity to rinse the government again. Our tanks take on a loss. Disastrous. We throw lots of money at our imports from Africa. A whippet tank changes colour. Another tank disappears before my eyes. Where's it gone? Oh wait, there it is! Isn't that lovely? We break the game. Oh no! Ramping up research becomes priority number one. The Greeks get rear-ended by the Italians as well. All good to come and look, new tank. Stay tuned! You must love gaming because you are watching this video, so why not save yourself some money and get on instant gaming? They have everything you could possibly want. The new stuff, the pre-order stuff and the classics. Honestly, you're missing out if you don't get on here. There's a link down below in the description. You can thank me later. Arms Trade Tanks Tycoon mm. Last episode, Britain and Belgium decided to murder each other. On the continent of Africa, our tanks are being used to murder the Belgian infantry and destroy the artillery. France of Germany have decided that they're not going to be friends anymore and now they're trying to blow each other up. However, no tanks at the moment from myself or any other company there. The Ottomans are deciding to murder the Greeks. Looks like they're trying to invade currently. They're blowing each other to pieces. In this battle, I heard many body parts were found to unknown victims as the artillery destroyed them. The new mission that I'm giving myself is to get to tier 2 technology. I cannot wait. Give it to me. Research is coming along. Bolted assembly. We are going to be working towards the improved hull of the Hornet goodness and then I want a combination tank and then while we're at it I need to do an improved low pass running gear for the Hornet the better extended high pass running gear for the Mark what's it and then the Mark what's it itself that'll be nice Forever making improvements on our tanks. This is the Mark 1, Mark 4, May. Oh, hang on a minute. I need to change the name. Well, I know it's a male one. It's got the big cannons on it. <laughs> but yes, always improving. This is a vast improvement of the previous by an entire 150 points of goodness. Currently producing lots of Mark 3 males. People seem to like these at the moment. Deliveries from Africa are on the way. They got delayed. And we are shipping off 20 tanks to Britain again for more money. Isn't that wonderful? Payday is going to be sh very soon. Building more storage for more tanks for more money as well. Currently in development. 47 days for that. That's pretty much where we're up to. We did get some more tanks. Might as well stick these around the testing ground. Get that Whippet one going. And we'll see what is coming next. One thing I have been doing is, as I've been going, I'm making sure all these are up to date. Even the older tech stuff, very important that you do. Because soon enough, we're going to get a supply contract, which is to supply not a whole new regiment of tanks, but to reinforce them which will mean they're going to want certain things like the same engine or stuff like that we don't quite know exactly what they're going to want yet and that is a bit of a pain so at the moment if i just keep everything that i have up to date because these people are sat doing their nothing at the moment anyway so you might as well just have them doing it. and honestly i think i'm all up to date with everything which is mad i need a tank to reverse engineer that'll be good Oh, hey, oh, gas has just been developed. It's not very nice, is it? And that was a mess and a half. There you go. I knew it wouldn't take long. Contract for the 3rd Battalion has been completed. The British are happy. That has given us a nice juicy wedge in the bank account. Love it. Just need more contracts. 
I really do need more. What I want to do is have it so that I can purchase the additional buildings and so on. That should speed up my research. It will speed up the production. I can make it so that it's cheaper for me to build things. Everything. Now, spending money on things does save more money in the long run, but you need to have the backup cash flow in the first place. So I'm just kind of waiting a little bit more. Oh no, our rivals are building more better tanks. That's not good. The Hector Mark II is not great for me. But what's this? The Battle of Grandi. Ooh, the German Empire of France. They've just decided to murder each other and that battle was concluded. Let's have a quick look. Who is winning this? This one, here we go. Ooh, that's not good for the French. That's not good at all. The Germans murdered 3,000 French people while they lost 1,500 of their own in Gwandi. Gwan yeah, wherever that is. Down in the middle of Africa somewhere. There we go. I do wonder, these battles and things that are going to go on, they should more than likely spread to other areas. It's not going to just going to be focused on here. I mean, the bordering on the mainland, you'd think they'd blow each other to pieces. Or will they? I suppose that wouldn't matter anyway, because in my last campaign that I did, Britain invaded Denmark and they just kind of, well, they did a naval invasion, but obviously they've got a navy, but there's no navy in this. So, interesting, but if you have a look at this now, look, they've got a few of our tanks, 60 of them all together, one got blown up, but we've still got 60. Still waiting on the Germans to decide what they want to do in terms of tanks. The French have a basic idea. But they don't have any tanks yet. It's legit just the British. It is early days yet. The last set of upgrades that I've done improves the machine guns, replaces them everywhere on everything that I've got, and they really do ramp up the murdering capability. Another battle has been... Oh, it's begun. Oh, okay, between us and the Belgians again. Yeah, here we go. They're using our tanks again. Nice. Ooh, apparently the intensity is extreme. I wonder how many we're going to lose in these combats, what they've been done. I want to know if they're going to bring more troops in. But one thing I've noticed, the British Empire's military strength has gone up to 19. I don't remember it being that. Maybe that is because of the tanks. Germany was on 16, last I remember. They're now on 18. What's the military strength? Oh, 16. Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I think that's the same. Interesting. In the last one, when they developed new technologies and upgraded their troops and different regiments, it showed up on a notification on here. Another battle, Greece and Italy. Not Italy. Jeez, Ottomans. And the Ottomans won it again. They've gone from 7,000 strength to 6,300 of the Greeks. I think they're going to lose that war. Ooh, my new resources have arrived. This is very important because you see this here. I've got less than a third of my capacity currently in stock. They keep just getting bloody delayed all the time, but that is the risk of using the African one. They are incredibly cheap, but if they get delayed, it's 14 days and they just keep getting delayed all the time. <laughs> and it's ridiculous, but they are the cheapest. So what I might have to do is get some from somewhere else, say the Middle East here, for example, because if you have a look, availability of some of these resources in africa it's quite low but you go to say the middle east and it's so much more the biggest one really is iron and medium carbon steel so if we set it as though we are purchasing enough resources for 20 tanks in africa if you can see they just do not have enough everywhere else Apart from Europe and Ocean. Oh, that's changed. Okay. 
All right, so what we're we looking at then, Middle East or Asia? We have a total price at the bottom, so we can easily calculate which is going to be the best. And it looks like the Middle East. But then again, you look at Africa, it is legit so much cheaper. I might persist. I don't have a huge stockpile of cash right now. For the same resources, I'm paying an extra nearly 30% by getting it from anywhere else. And that is going to murder me. Oceania is quite cheap. I don't have the high carbon steel. I'm going to keep going and hope that they don't get delayed. Just, I'm just going to do that. Keeping the cost down is vital. What I could actually do is this reduction of resource delivery time 25%. That should mean you'd think I can just keep buying it from there. And if you have a look, because um, I'm getting it from Africa, the money I'm saving from doing that, if I could just speed it up, it, despite this building being 30,000, it pays for itself. So I'm going to do it. That will save me money. That's a smart decision. And I've got another one here, which I could also do an extra 15% on top of that. So again, I'm going to do that. Naval freight. That should be good. See, you're getting clever. That will increase the re the um, maintenance and things. But bloody hell, it, it sh it'll more than pay for itself if I can just keep getting those resources there. Medium Whippet Mark II trials have been completed. I've got to do the female ones. It only cost me 4,000. I'm sure they make those numbers up. I have 10 of those Whippet Mark IIs in. I do believe they're the ones with the improved machine gun. Yes, they are. So that is the first one. It had the improved tracks, but it's got the Lewis machine guns on. And this one is far superior, especially when I bodge it with some good bodgery in all of these things that are awfully wrong in it. Because <laughs> it's just, there's four people in there. I wouldn't like to be around in that. So I do plan on selling these. I've already made some, so it is definitely worth doing the repairs or bodgery on it because it makes it so i can sell them more the first one really i shouldn't have bothered because i had to save myself some money there's no point spending money on fixing something if you're not going to sell any of it anyway now at the moment we are building this one and i have 20 of some of the female tanks i'm not sure which one it is already in stock so what I am going to do, I think, is I might not repair the things that are wrong with this one. Although it might already be up to date. I'm not too sure what the differences are now. I think it was more the expendables and that was it. The biggest one was in the Mark IV here, which I've done, was we've got several different sorts of rounds all rammed in there and the tracer and things. Whereas on this one, which is the female version, the only improvement really will be an extra bit of ammunition. So is that worth it? Oh, I don't know, you know. We'll just have to see. German Empire France have finished murdering each, each other. Let's have a look. Oh, and the French got one. Okay. They murdered around a thousand Germans and lost around 350. No news yet on the current battles which our tanks are in. There's two that are ongoing. Oh! Oh, yes! A new tank has arrived. Oh, we got to get creaming all over that one. British have it. What? Oh, no. I think this is one of the bugs. Damn it, I can't get this. Give it to me! Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get hold of this tank. <laughs> oh, no. That is so gutting. I've just been talking to the developer. They have, they, they know about this. It has been fixed. I presume it's in a blob for the next update. Oh, so frustrating. I want it so bad. Yeah, these bugs have been fixed, apparently. But I just need to wait for the update to drop, so that is 
devastating. Regardless, we shall carry on. Trials for the female Mark III are done. Lovely. But I'm only going to fix them and spend more money on them if I decide to produce them. We'll see. Oh, the Ottomans are slapping Greece in the face again. I don't think they're going to be having a, a right good day of it. The Ottomans are far stronger. It's, yeah, no, that's going to... I don't... Is, is there going to be a, a peace before Greece is eliminated? Where are Greece's allies? Does it have any? They've got an alliance with Sweden, I think that is. Oh, um, then that's about it, but... Mm, I'm yet to see an alliance actually cause a war. I mean, if we have a look at France, for example, we're in an alliance with Britain, Romania, and Slovakia. Sorry, Serbia. Serbia. <laughs> Ignore that. You didn't hear that. I don't know these old flags. All right. <laughs> but anyway, now that doesn't mean Britain's going to war with Germany. It's France, just France and Germany. That's it. So, I don't know. That'll be one I need to ask the developers. Ooh, new design. Excellent. Mark 1, male Mark 4. We'll get that fixed. That's going to cost me 9,000, apparently. We have a look. This is just so much better. The old one doesn't... It, the, yeah, the main thing is the ammunition and the fuel. There's uh, an update for the machine gun, but there's not much indifference in there. The newer one has the improved hull. Can't remember what changes were made. I think that is more to do with ammunition again as well. The improved machine gun, but there's only one, so that won't do anything really. But it's this, the ammunition for the main cannons, they really boost the explosive potential. It's ridiculous. It's so much better. This is the whippet. I don't think there's anything more I can really do to that one. At the moment, at least could improve this one I suppose it doesn't hurt Started. I'm gonna do it I mean why not at the moment everything is the best that I could possibly have it so I might as well this is gonna be the main thing standing ammunition and tracer ammunition if you watched a previous episode you'll know what it does when you can double them up like this so Hotchkiss 1909 that is the machine gun I mean, one of several, but they're all the same. So you've got the range, accuracy, rate of fire, damage, all that malarkey. Gun, kinetic penetration, everything. So we stick a normal ammunition in there, yeah? Shebang, that goes up. Rate of fire's up, damage is up. Then on the next slot, you cannot duplicate the same one, but you can add another one. And then it gives you even more of a boost. Look at that, you ready? Look at the range. Rate of fire goes through the roof. Damage is massively increased. They're a good few percentage. I think rate of fire is the biggest one there. That goes up a whole seven points of goodness. Now, that's good. And that's for every single machine gun. That adds up. And then we'll give it some better petrol as well. Because it doesn't move very quickly, does it? So this one's going to be the female Mark IV. So it's going to be coloured in that. I will get them doing it. It's going to take 30 days. You might as well, because they're not doing anything else at the moment. Research is coming. Oh, it's right here already. <laughs> Never mind. There we go. Bolted assembly. Excellent. That is good. Let's pick the next one. We wanted the improved Hornet. Well, yeah. Improved medium hull, which is the Hornet hull. On my last one, I had many of these sell rather lovely, they actually. But I am definitely going to be needing... I mean, that is just such an improvement over the Hornet. You'll not believe... I mean, over the Whippet, you'll not believe. If I can grab some of the German stuff, I know I can stick a turret on the Whippet. So maybe if we can get this combination sponsor, that will mean the bigger tank is so much better because you've got a cannon and machine gun, even more firepower. That will make all the other ones obsolete. We'll start going down that road. Now, research is going to start taking longer and longer and longer, which is a pain. I need to increase this. I need more people working in here. 
I can improve things by seeing if there is another man available, which there isn't. There's only that one man, and he is currently busy in the production hall. There are things I can do here. Having a, an ergonomics office will mean I can have an extra 50% people in there. That is probably the biggest upgrade I could do right now. I'm going to do that. That's going to take two months to in build and install. And then I'm going to have to think about saving my money up. But we've got tanks in storage. We're soon going to have a bigger storage. So I've got plenty to sell. One thing I can do is I can use... Ooh, sugar lumps. What happened then? these new pieces to build a new what's it here we go What's going on here right a new hull steel now this is the bolted assembly this is really good you might not think it's that much but really it's actually right lovely so the repairability and reliability goes up a lot now the brits dress really do like the repairability that's what they want this gives a lot of that using these bolts are also cheaper they use a bit more materials but they're quicker to stick on and there's a few of them I suppose overall it won't make that much of a difference but the crew safety goes up a lot but so all these little things really do add up so the next batch of mark wands that we build I mean, I don't think I'm going to make a whole new design just because we've got these bits in, but with a few extra upgrades, we can make a whole new other better tank. It doesn't take that long to do anyway. They've got nothing else to do. Might as well. Netherlands and Britain are having an alliance. Don't think they'll be murdering each other anytime soon. Oh, resources have arrived. Nice. I better get more. 70,000 out of 150 at the moment. Actually get resources straight for that one. How many of these can we build in one do? Yeah, 11 again. We'll keep that going. Those upgrades haven't been installed yet, so we're still going to have to wait. But there was no delay that time. Oh, man. According to trustworthy sources, there's a new cavalry tank co-named with German one. Okay. Might be fast. Another battle between Germany and France in the same region. Cavalry versus artillery. Somebody's going to die. Oh, the Africa. This delivery is going to be delayed. New agreement. Liberia and Serbia. Okay. Engineering completed. Oh, lovely. The bolted assembly thing is a little bit better. The look at this. Attribute sum has gone up by eight points. You might not think that's very much. However, total cost in materials is reduced and the cost is reduced. Now, all these little things add up. We can do the same with the sponsons even. So steel, which is what the other one was. Again, out of this though, bolted assembly. No other new parts that we are currently aware of. But yeah, five days doesn't take long. Might as well do them. Together, it adds up a lot. Trials for the Mark 1, Mark 4 are done. I don't think I've got any others. That is this one. I need to change that name. I don't know if it's going to let me. Oh, it has. Oh, lovely. Well, we are going to be producing these. So I do wonder. Do I fix it up? Because this is what I've currently got in storage. We've got... 20 Mark female Mark IIs, 10 Whippets Mark IIs, and soon to be 20 male Mark IIs. I might just do them all in batches of 20. Or, no, actually, what I could do, because they like to have more, I mean, they ask for 20, but you can up it to, say, 30. I might increase them. Because you can't just give them 20 of one and then 10 of another one with it at the same time, which is a bit annoying. I might build even more Mark 3s, increase the number that I already have, and then we'll start building the Mark 4s. Oh, look. Ah, see, I was on about this earlier. France has improved its armoured car. Oh, no, they've just adapted a different kind. Okay. 
Oh, they've um, they've invented the armored car with people inside of it and things, but they haven't made any yet. Okay, got to keep an eye on these developments. It can change how things are happening. Production has completed. Oh, the sponsor is done as well. Might as well do the same with the female sponsor. Oh, we could do it with the whippet tank also. Didn't think of that. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get ten more of these built. Oh, but I can't yet. Oh man, I didn't think of that. My building isn't finished yet. How far away off that? Oh, five days. Oh, that's not too bad. They can have a rest, I suppose. Ooh, France slapped the Germans. Apparently the artillery was superior. The intensity was low, though, so there aren't many murdered on the battlefield scattered. It's not too bad, really. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, the sponsor is done. And we have more tank storage. Excellent. I'm going to build 10 more of these. These are the male Mark 3s. I want 30. See what happens. Then I'm going to build 10 whippets. And then I'm going to build 30 of the Mark 4s. So then we will have some female tanks, which I'm probably going to palm off to another country. The whippets, which I'm probably going to do the same. And then the male Mark 4s. They're going to be the next juicy thing that I think Britain will build, uh, buy, maybe? We'll have to see. We'll do the changes on the Whippet as well. Give that some of the bolted assembly goodness. And everything else that we can stick inside of it. It's always right lovely. The whole hatches, the doors. No, not the tail wheel. It won't work. Nine days. It doesn't cost much to keep these bits sorted. You keep everything up to date, it's so much better off. Tell you what though, I do wish <laughs> that France would actually join, I mean, Britain would join the war against Germany. It Apparently, the way it is at the moment, there is a chance that they will join against them. But at the moment it's all, well, it's not even alpha, it, this is early access, so, you know, it's... <laughs> All work in progress is going to be improved and deepened. Everything is better when it's deepened. Oh, way up. Hey, up. The British Empire is introducing heavy artillery. Ooh. That is a new thing. I've not seen that one before. So they've got normal artillery and then there's heavy artillery. Or what is probably more known as siege artillery, maybe. Just Bigger, more explosive, generally makes even more of a mess. That's not going to be very good for the Belgians if they get some of those involved. But that isn't my problem. Another battle between Germany and France. More cavalry versus artillery. More bits of bodies are going to be intermingled again. Oh, the female Mark IV is done. Yes. There she is. So that one is... A little bit better than the other one. Not actually that much difference. But we, we didn't think there was going to be a huge difference. Because money is getting a little bit low. I'm actually not going to design new ones just yet. The only improvements that I currently have available to me. Are those bolted assemblies. Now we could just do a little test to be fair. See what the difference will actually be. We'll do it on a male one. Stick the engine in and everything else. The tracks, all the same sponsons. Ooh, sugar lumps. All the same sponsons and things. All the guns. The machine gun. All the crew. And what is it bringing up to? 100 and... Oh, there's really no difference. It's like seven points better. <laughs> and I'm not spending... Uh, does it actually cost me? You know, actually, I don't think it does. Sod it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. We'll keep it going. Oh, where's the paint gun? Oh, here we go. Oh, this one's going to be that colour. Well, might as well keep them busy. Now, even the media Whippet Mark II sector thing is done now. We've got people standing about. I could fire some of them, but they don't cost me that much anyway, really. 
trying to keep hold of them just in case. More resources have arrived. I'm going to need more again. Again from Africa. Grab some of them. 10 tanks worth 70 grand. There should be another contract soon. You'd think so anyway. Oh, they're late again. Yell. See, look. Athena Mark III now. Not good. That was a rival's tank. Well, our Mark III males have been built. I'm going to build 10 more of these. So we have 20. Some of the other countries are going to start buying stuff. I need to be ready. Get that new female one to the test in grounds. Oh, there we go. Unloading stations and the naval freight thing has been completed. That is right lovely. Resources should now come much quicker, saving us a lot of money. Reducing the need to buy from somewhere else, which is more expensive. Ooh, a battle has finished. Who won that? Ooh, Germany. Ooh, that's not good. The Germans lost two artillery pieces. But around 300 cavalry men got blown to pieces. Oh, hey up. Hey up. Hey up. Oh, here we go. Now, this is more historically accurate. Austro Hungary has decided to go to war with Serbia. Oh, that's how it all really kicked off, wasn't it? World War I. That Franz Ferdinand feather, the prince to the Hungarian throne, got murdered supposedly in Serbia. Not Serbia. Yeah, it was Serbia. And then they decided to have a go at them. I think the Russians then decided that, no, we're going to help you with that. And Germany wasn't too happy about it and started to prod them. And then that was it. Then Britain and France was involved. I'm sure that's how it went down. In a very brief manner. So we have the Hungarian Empire, which has a military strength of 7. Serbia, 4. These are the units that they have fielded. Technically, they've got more, but it doesn't mean that they're going to win. We have a look in general. They have an offensive warfare doctrine. Okay, so they might be interested in tanks. I mean, it's offensive thing, isn't it? Tank doctrine, though. Undecided future. Mm, don't know how that's going to go. Oh, they're not putting any money into it. Come on, chaps. You want tanks? Economic strength, 61. Military, 7. That's uh, not too shy away from the Germans, but the military strength of the German Empire is much higher. I think that's another bit of a bug, which they may or may not have fixed. I don't quite know yet. There's an update coming. But, yeah, I'd like to know the stats of Serbia. I suppose we'll have to guess. Not as much... <laughs> Uh, that'll do. Oh! War has ended between the British Empire and Belgium. So the British slapped the Belgians silly. So they're no longer at war with them at all, is it not? No, they're not. They've conquered that region, wherever that was. Yeah, oh, so that means we can't see how those other big battles concluded. Oh, that's annoying. Well, they didn't lose any then. I was hoping they'd lose a few so that I could see what the supply contract would look like. It might happen anyway, we'll see. Oh, here we go, talking about contracts. They want some more tanks. Let's have a look. Again, firepower hard, pair ability and protection. Ooh, they have a Hector Mark II. 411. Well, we have... I'm going to have to scroll down and find it. There we go. I keep thinking that that is a scroll bar, but it's not. It's this. It does my head in every time. We have how many of these? 30. Let me double check. Male Mark Threes. We have 30 in stock. Ooh, that is good. That is very good. Now you can see now that we also have the female Mark II, but they're not too happy about that. They want the males. 
that the females are going to have to go to another country. They're really not that bothered about the whippet. Oh, but would you look at that, though? So the Mark III uh, male, wherever that's gone, there it is. They like that. 452. But with the Mark IV, with the increased ammunition, look at that. We could really rinse them with more money with that one. Well, we're going to get sold off all of our Mark III's and build 30 Mark IV's, the male version, because they cream over it. And because we can give them 30, we can give them more money for us, which is definitely what we need. We can increase the price also, but we can definitely bring this down. This is the date. The lower it is, the more they're creaming over it. So if we got the 26th of the 7th, plus, I don't know, two days. There we go. That is the success score, 603. The competitors, they're at 411 at maximum. So I can rank up the price. At the moment, we're going to get about a million. Oh, geez, I can really rank it up. Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. That'll do 1.3-ish million. Yes. Let's do that. Now that is right lovely. Right lovely indeed. Because now, ooh. Ooh, France has adopted a saturation tank. What the bloody hell is that? That might mean machine guns? Mm, don't know. Clicking on the... Oh, no. Oh, saturation tank. So they mean by numbers. That looks like the Fiat or Renault thing, whatever it was. Not Fiat, that's something else. Yeah, it was a Renault FT-17, I think. Little tiny thing. They might want the Whippet then. We'll see. At the moment, the Brits just want the big fat tank. Germany's still thinking about it. We're going to have more customers soon. That's why I need to build up the tanks and storage. Oh, they have accepted. Oh, lovely. But there is another battle going on between Hungary and Serbia. I'll have a look at that in a moment, but I need to send these tanks off. Here we go. What have we got? Lots of these. 30. Now, we can't use the super cheap one on this occasion. Just because they can only have a capacity of 20, but the next one up isn't too bad anyway. 17 days maximum, even with a delay. And the deadline... Is the 27th and it's only just gone the first so we've got 10 days of clearance all 30 of them go yes that is going to be 1.3 ish million in our bank account that is wonderful that means we could do upgrades oh but new resources have arrived that is just in time we definitely need to start building the mark 4 mail oh that's one thing i didn't do one, I didn't rename that one, but I haven't fixed all the things that are wrong with this one yet. So we better do that, throw money at it, seeing as we are actually going to be producing this. It's worth fixing the things that are wrong with it. Even if it is just bodged over, some of these just hides the fact that that part of the tank is pretty shit. However, some of them actually fix the things that are wrong with it. <laughs> but that's just the way um, companies work, I guess. They uh, were now different. Mail mark for how many can I build with the resources that I currently have? This is probably going to eat all of them. Oh, it's going to let me do 30. I didn't have much more than that, to be fair. So I really do need to get some resources in. That's going to take 70 days ish. It's going to be nice if they keep wanting more. Now, my improvements to my supply department is fantastic. Oh, yeah. Right, so we've gone from whatever, how long that took, to now 10 days to get resources from Africa. That is lovely. If it's delayed, it's still 14 days on top of that. But regardless, that is so much better. That is what we need. I'm... I don't know what the ratio is, the chance of that, 
but there's just a, a chance. <laughs> Ooh, lovely. New ergonomics in the research. That is good. That's where the money, the extra cash, is going to go next. Making it so we can speed this up. So we've gone from 20 to 30 maximum engineers in the research department. So 52 days. It's now 35 days. Oh, that is so much better. Just shave 17 days off. That's just over half a month. Excellent. And now I know that we're going to get paid shortly. What I am going to do is not delay and get a structure lab. This reduces the cost of structure nodes. So it's less, it, reduces, it needs less to get the same stuff done. So I'll get that done. I'm going to get the mobility one done as well. Well, there's this one as well. Bonus to analytics discount for all research nodes. Eh? Don't quite know what that one is. But we're going to go for a firepower one. So you've got the three departments, basically a dedicated lab for each department and an ergonomics, which is more space for more of them to go in. That is going to be a huge boost that we could do with an advisor in there as well. Ooh. Germany and France have decided to murder each other even more. Oh, there was that other one as well, wasn't there? Let's have a look at this. So, infantry are going to be slapping the Hungarian artillery, apparently. We'll see how that turns out. Hey, didn't the... Oh, no. I was going to say they've got more troops involved now, but they haven't dear what's going on here then yeah that's the last battle uh, they're uh, throwing infantry at each other now the French might have a bit of an advantage on this one they've got a commander involved but they do have less troops there's going to be a lot of people that die on this one the intensity of the battle is extreme oh there you go Africa will be delayed damn it oh what is this an alliance between the Ottoman Empire and the Empire of Ethiopia. Okay. I wonder if Italy is going to decide to have a dabble at it this time then. Oh, the design has been completed. What was that again? Oh, that was that. But we kind of goofed it, didn't we? I can't change it now, neither can I? No. Damn it. Well, this was supposed to be the improved Mark V male. It's only a slightly bit better. I'll have it as it is anyway. We'll just have to keep it that dodgy colour. Seeing as I forgot. <laughs> so that is the one with the bolted assembly, which is different, isn't it? That's it. So I might as well do the same with the female one, seeing as um, we're sat waiting. Well, we're not. But the engineers are. I'm gonna keep them busy. That writ mark for. Oh, hang on a minute. I forgot what I did now. Oh yeah, look, that rit. So you can see the difference. So, do you know, the, all these were rivets. Yeah, you can see all that. And now these are bolts and you can see the difference. That is attention to detail. Mmm. The engine. Tracks. We're doing the lady one, aren't we? That was it. Female sponsor again. All bolted. Yeah. Nice. Throw a load of men in it something to shoot the enemy with we'll give this the normal color as well i don't think we'll end up using these there we go that'll keep them busy for a little bit doesn't look as pretty but it is what it is the attributes are eight points better maybe it really isn't worth it <laughs> this is because i didn't have enough money to get more research done i prioritized production over research maybe i should have swapped it around a little bit more oh there we go payday mm. i wish it was that easy to make a million quid better put that mark what's it on the test drive i'll still do the test drives because that takes time and if you decide to build them then you don't want to be wasting more time doing that and then they're just sat around doing twiddling the thumbs no 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 Sweden and Spain are now saying that they're not going to murder each other. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, way up. Hey, up. Another battle between Greece. Oh, no, it's ended. Let's have a look. Oh, Greece have evened the playing field pretty much. They slapped them. 
the Greeks lost 1,260, while the Ottomans lost 3,800-ish. Now, it is late at night for me, and I'm tired, so if that is wrong, <laughs> don't abuse me in the comments. <laughs> oh! 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 Greece! Oh, no! Greece! Oh, Greece is going to get murdered! Italy's having a go at them now as well! They're not even in alliance with the Ottomans. They've just decided that now is the time to go and murder them. I mean, they're not wrong. But they're not going to be good customers, are they? Because they don't even have any... Oh, 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 eh. Undecided future for tanks. They've got... No money going into it. Oh, come on! To be fair, it is only 1915. They have more regiments than the Ottomans. Some cavalry and things. Offensive warfare again. What is French's thing? They're all on offensive war. Britain? Shut up, go away. Expeditionary warfare. Alright, okay. Ooh, go away. What about the Ottomans? Are they on offensive? Everyone's on offensive. What about defensive? Colonial warfare. What does that involve then? I've no idea, you know, I've got no idea. Portugal? Defensive. Oh, they see, look, they're on defensive. I think it'll... Might just mean which regiments that they're going to do and stuff like that. I've got no idea, to be honest. I'm just talking out my noggin there. Regardless, we can leave them to it and hope that they decide... Oh, really? They've just been at war. Now they've got non-aggression pact. Favours Belgium, doesn't it? Oh, wait, what? What? Greece has taken control of a province. Are you mad? Where? Which one? In North Aegean. South Aegean. North Aegean. Oh, you mean they just defended themselves? Oh, that's bird. bad wording, is that? Bad wording. <laughs> I got all excited. I thought they were doing a naval invasion of the Ottoman Empire then. That would have been funny. Well, they did manage to hold off the Ottomans. Can they hold off the Italians? Currently, I mean, the Italians have a better army, supposedly, than the Ottomans. And currently, the Greeks only have the one infantry there to defend them with. We'll see. Will they get lucky again? Oh, the Serbians and the Hungarians have decided. Well, not, not decided. They've had a go of it. Who's, who's won that? The Hungarians. Ooh, 2,000 Serbians got murdered. That's not very good. New resources have arrived. Let's get some more. And they go another 70,000 down the drain. Each time we do that, by the way, each time we get resources in, it costs... Well, we are saving that much money we can build a new building each time. Honestly, it's so, so much better. It's definitely the right call to do. I could potentially make it even quicker. So there's this freight truck. Bonus to tank delivery reliability. I'm not that bothered about that one. But the resource to reliability there... Uh, you've got supply depot that gives you a bonus to resources sold, but I don't see me doing that anytime soon. That one, you get some money back if you scrap a tank. Don't see me doing that one. Supply reliability focus, that is a good one, but that's 10%. I was going to say, is it worth me just doing this one? Because then you get the bonus for the tank one, but then again... I don't think there is a point because I've got that many tanks in pre-production stored. It wouldn't make any sense. I would never use it, really. Reduction of tank delivery time, that is a good one. Bonus to tank reliability. What is this? Stockpiling resources. Mm, at the moment, I can't even fill my warehouse. So I am going to go. No, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. It's not worth it. It is not worth it. I've got my re research ones going. They're the big ones. The next logical step 
would be to get specific machinery in to help with production. Now, what I'm looking for is ones which will do all the tanks. Now, the male and female tanks all use the same bits of machinery, but the whippet tanks, they don't need a cutting thing, but they have a rolling thing or bending. But these four have all remained consistent and that is casting riveting rifling and milling so those are the four that i'm going to go and have a look at there is think ah yeah look see right the biggest pieces are the hull the hull requires riveting focus right stuff for the turret Oh, apparently that's riveting as well. I suppose it is full of rivets. Oh, see, that's loads. We have to get a riveting hole then. Rifling for the gun and a bit of milling, but the guns are cheap. And I mean, man, our cost for one of them is actually a fair bit. But if you add it up to all of these and then you've got the hull itself is a lot. I suppose the man hours for the gun is actually... I didn't realize it was that much. But the machine guns, that actually adds up as well. That is rifling. So maybe we'll go for riveting and rifling. What about the engine? That is casting and milling. Interesting. The main gun was milling as well. We do a lot of them. So milling might be a thing. What about the tracks? Well, that's the whip it. See, that is cutting. So we can't do all of it, you see. And then we look at the whip it, and that is bending. But well, main, the main one is the big tank. So we're definitely looking at riveting. Didn't quite realize how many man hours these cost, but we can go for these. That is a rifling. That also affects the machine guns, which will do every tank. Because these take 250 man hours to build anyway. I mean, it's only going to increase. The engines don't actually take up, mu up much that... M blah, 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 I can't speak now. Take up much man hours. The less than the tracks and all the machine guns. So I'm not really that bothered about them. The tracks take up about the same as a cannon. But when you add a few machine guns in, then it overtakes it. So again, makes more sense to do that then. So we're going to go and do a rifling, a milling, and a riveting. And the milling also does the engine a bit. Oh yeah, that's such a good choice. Yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do. Milling is going to be the last priority. Here we go. See, look, we can even really get more people in. Well, there is this, though, in general. Man hour cost reduction per tank. Just get that straight away. We're going to get these in Riveting Hall. Get one of them. Now, you can only have four of these things. There was a rifling, wasn't there? We can do the rifling. That did all the guns. How was it casting or milling? I can't remember now. We'll have to have a look. It was definitely the milling. So I can either get a milling or I can get more people in the production hall. So far, though, I think we're doing all right in the production. There hasn't been too many contracts. So we're going to go for milling. Now, getting these reduces the production costs, which saves me money, which means more profit per tank. That is important. Oh, wait, oh, it's an increase and now we're actually blowing each other up. Excellent. Oh, Spain and Portugal are blowing each other up now. They did that on my last run. But on the last one, there was tanks on either side that I had built for both countries. There's none of that this time. Interesting. Portugal's got a defensive posture and has seven regiments. Quite a bit for a small country. Nothing in terms of tanks, though. Even though they have money thrown into it. The economic, economic strength is 36, military is 4. Spain, 68 in the economy, 7 in the military strength. Nothing going into the tanks. They have 
a colonial warfare. I, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. We'll have to see about that. Portugal does have a few bits of stuff floating around down here. But I think they only really border around the mainland. So we'll have to see. I hope Portugal buys some of my tanks because of it. That'll be nice. Oh, Africa will be delayed again. Damn it. Always delayed from Africa. Ooh. Hungarians are murdering Serbians again. And what's this? Oh, now they've blown each other up and the Ottomans got thrown away. The Greeks and Ottomans are now actually trading with each other. <laughs> okay. To create new avenues for economic growth and prosperity. Because we blew each other up and were idiots. Isn't that wonderful? Italy and Liberia are now in an alliance, supposedly. Another one. Italy and Greece. Oh, a battle has been concluded. Re Regi a what? Reggio division. We'll go for the Reggae division. They are Italian. That's a low intensity battle. Uh, that could go either way at that point. I won't call that decisive. But there we go. Improved medium hull. Yes, baby. Give it to me. We have more things to research. Now, because people are stood around and. Oh, let's see. Look now. All of these bits can improve our existing designs, meaning there's going to be a new wave of tank engineering done. But I'm going to get the tracks first. Because then we can actually build a Hornet, and they liked them last time. 38 days. That is so much better than what it was before. Here she is. Isn't that right? Lovely. Excellent. No real point getting that ready just yet. Can see how a new hull will look with the new pieces. Ah ha ha! We now have a sight. This increases crew aiming, awareness, and a, somehow agility. Maybe because they can see where they're going. Isn't that wonderful? Make it out of steel, rivets, ammunition storage, communication flappy paddles. Everybody loves one of them. Nothing for the internals. Shell storage, fuel storage. Uh, there's some new hull hatches, which are girthier than before, and all that good stuff. A hull door, a new one of them. Not that you can really... Oh, I suppose you get out of that. Uh, we'll keep that on. We'll keep the tail wheel on. When we get to the Mark V hull, we won't bother with that. But no, that is better so if we have a look oh sugar lumps do you want to save edit uh yes yes that is better attribute sum is increased so there's gonna be a new mark 5 hull and there's gonna be various other components i think we can do as well but we'll get them busy with that first of all there's definitely going to be a new wave of things coming. We're expecting new contracts to come, especially with all the current wars. France is bound to get some tanks off me soon. You'd think they would. You'd think they would anyway. But now I'm going to leave this episode here. It's gone on for long enough. Research is now speeding up and it's definitely going to go mental soon. In six days, we have lots more people and resources into the research department. Excellent. I hope you've enjoyed your selves watching this have some tea leave your thoughts in the comments i do read them that would be lovely to see and i'll see you in the next one toodle pip get that kettle on thank you for watching this video all the way through hopefully if you have if you can like the video too that helps as well a special thank you to all of the members of the channel who get lovely benefits of up to two weeks worth of additional content early isn't that right lovely now the next video if it's available will be on the screen right now to the bottom left and the full playlist to the bottom right have a good one